Hey, welcome to our One Life Church Good Friday service. Today, our prayer is that our attention will be turned to the cross of Jesus. That our attention will be turned to the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. The lamb that came to take away the sins of the world. Let's pray together. God, we thank you for loving us. We thank you that while we were still sinners, you did not stay at a distance. You didn't turn your back on us, but rather, you sent your son Jesus for us. And he died for us. And his death was your love on full display. And today, we turn our attention to your love. To your love in on display in the person of Jesus at the cross. Thank you, God, for loving us. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. You were the word at the beginning. One with God, the Lord, most high. Hidden glory in creation Now revealed in you Our Christ What a beautiful name it is What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus Christ My King What a beautiful name it is and nothing compares to this What a beautiful name it is The name of Jesus mm, Didn't want heaven without us Jesus, you brought heaven down Sin was great, your love was greater And what could separate us now What a wonderful name it is What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Christ, my King what a wonderful name it is And nothing compares to this The wonderful name it is The name of Jesus What a wonderful name it is The name of Jesus Our Old Testament reading comes from Isaiah chapter 53, starting in verse 3. He, Jesus, was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his 
wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace turn your eyes upon Jesus look full in his wonderful face and the things strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace in the light of his glory New Testament reading will come from Mark chapter 15, starting in verse 16. The soldiers took Jesus into the courtyard of the governor's headquarters and called out the entire regiment. They dressed him in a purple robe, and they wove thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head. Then they saluted him, and they taunted, Hail, King of the Jews! And they struck him on the head with a reed stick. They spit on him, and they dropped to their knees in mock worship. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him again. Then they led him away to be crucified. There was a passerby named Simon who was coming in from the court si- countryside just then, and the soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. And they brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They offered him wine, drugged with myrrh, but he refused it. Then the soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross. They divided his clothes and they threw dice to decide who would each get a piece. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. A sign announced the charge against him. It read, the king of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on the right and one on his left. The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Ha, look at you now, they yelled at him. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, save yourself and come down from the cross. The leading priests and teachers of the religious law also mocked Jesus. He served others, they scoffed. But he can't even save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down from the cross so he can see it and believe him. Even the men who were crucified with Jesus ridiculed him. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. Then at three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, My God, my God! Why have you abandoned me? Some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought that he was calling for the prophet Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, holding it up to him on a reed stick so that he could drink. Wait, he said, let's see whether Elijah comes to take him down. Then Jesus uttered another loud cry, and he breathed his last 
And the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. When the Roman officer who stood facing him saw how he had died, he cried out, This man truly was the Son of God. couldn't earn it I don't deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming reverencing reckless love of God I wonder as we celebrate Good Friday as we turn our attention to the cross, I wonder what you think God thinks of you in your worst moment, in your moment of outrage, in your moment of greed, in your moment of lust, in your moment of isolation, in your darkest moment, in the shadowed corner where you try to hide from your shame and your guilt. What do you think God thinks of you? What do you think God says about you? If you were to fill in the blank, God thinks I am blank. How would you fill in that blank? Unfortunately, I think for many of us, When we think of the divine, when we think of God, we think that God looks at us and 
sees us as disposable. Failures. Unworthy. A waste of his time. I wonder how you would fill in that blank. When we look at the cross, we see God's answer. We see how God would fill in that blank. Brian Zahn says this, at the cross, Jesus does not save us from God. Jesus reveals God as Savior. We don't see what God does. We see who God is. See, when we look at the cross, we don't see Jesus appeasing God's anger with us or towards us. What we see is God in flesh dying for us. What does God think of us? God thinks so much of us that he took on flesh and went to the cross. Jesus is the Lamb of God that came to take away the sins of the world. While we were still sinners, while we were in our worst moment, God's love was on full display through and in Jesus on the cross. What does God think of us? He looks at us in our worst moment and He loves us. See, It is our violence, it is our sin, it is our iniquity that nailed Jesus to the cross. And the way that God in Jesus responded to our worst, responded to our violence, the way that God responded was not in violence. He didn't return violence for violence. He didn't return wrath for our iniquity. Instead, God responded to our violence by giving himself away. He was the lamb that went to the cross for us, taking our sins upon himself. He was motivated by a deep love for us, by a desire to be with us. The cross, the cross is what God has to say about us. That he thinks so highly of us. He loves us so deeply that he desires to be with us, that he would go to the cross, take our sin upon himself, and in exchange, he would call us sons and daughters. We look at the cross and we see who God really is. My prayer is that you would believe that today. My prayer is that you would, as you turn your gaze to the cross of Jesus, you would see who God really is, who God truly is, and God is love. God is love. Father, we, I, I pray that we would believe that today. As we look at the cross, as we consider Jesus on the cross, that we would believe deeply within ourselves that you love us, that you are love, and that you loved us so deeply that you took on flesh in the person of Jesus and you died for us. You gave your life for us. You took our sins and our violence and our worst upon yourself and in exchange you gave us righteousness you gave us holiness you called us sons and daughters I pray for my friends that they would believe that and trust that today it's in the name of the crucified Jesus that we pray amen and amen Worthy is the 
Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy. And are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Worthy is the Lamb, you are all. 